the question comes up a lot in my business and when I speak in schools and around the country about this phrase social entrepreneurship and it's it's a, a phrase that has really taken hold um, in some circles so for instance if we go to a university people are going to know what social entrepreneurship is if we go to the mall uh, not that I'm suggesting that we do that but if we did go to the mall it's highly unlikely that we're going to find very many people who know what that means and so this this sort of businessy um, social minded entrepreneurship um, phrase that was concocted um, to separate businesses from other businesses meaning uh, if I'm a social entrepreneur then I'm a good person you can trust me I'm someone who has um, other people's best interest at heart and I'm not just in this for a profit I am good I am elite buy from me other businesses that are not social businesses or social entrepreneurs shouldn't be trusted they're not really um, um, in the mainstream of trying to be the solution to social problems and helping out in their communities I find that um, division of business um, abhorrent and I think it's elitism at its finest and uh, you know we all know about Tom's shoes and people would would use uh, Tom's shoes I think as sort of the poster company for social entrepreneurship and that's the exact kind of reason why I don't like that phrase I don't want to be Tom's shoes I'm not associated with Tom's shoes I don't want people to think of Askinosi chocolate in Tom's shoes we don't have a one-for-one -one thing that if you, if you buy this thing from me then I will give this thing to a poor person who needs this thing I think that's wrong but I also think it's wrong from the standpoint of dividing the good and the bad companies uh, what I mean by that is there are a lot of businesses on my street and in my neighborhood of Commercial Street. Are there, if we were going to go down the street, would we make a list, oh, this is a social entrepreneur. No, this is not a social entrepreneur. That's wrong. And the reason it's wrong is because I know many of these businesses on the street, they care about their community, they help each other out, they serve in their community, they serve on boards of directors, they're involved, they go to meetings. Are they called social entrepreneurs? No, probably not. And so I think what we need to do as entrepreneurs is we need to be promoting the good in small business because that's what it is. Social entrepreneurship is just good business. It's good business that makes sense. It's business of the future. It's capitalism 3.0, that's what it is. It's the kind of business that cares about the people in their community, in their neighborhood, where they source their supplies, and they find a need that touches them in some way as a business, and they meet it. And they, they, they don't do it because the government's helping them do it. They don't do it because it's an if-then proposition. If you come here to get your oil changed, then I will do this for someone who needs me. That is not the way to do business. That isn't advanced capitalism as I think it will play out in the world. Because I believe if we do our part in promoting small business, then businesses will have a vocation. They'll have a calling. They will have this common purpose that people who own the business and the people who work at the business will come together to solve a social problem and to solve some social injustice. It could be poverty, it could be health care, it could be housing, it could be anything that, that, that touches the entrepreneur and those who work with the entrepreneur. And so if I do my part in promoting that ideal, the ideal that small businesses can solve problems, then we won't need to worry about dividing the social entrepreneurs from those that aren't. All small business should be doing this, yeah. and that's what I believe.